This is an attic inversion we finished about a year ago. We're just back to a little bit extra work in the house, but it's all, well, some of it's painted now, so it looks well. So this is the original stairs here. So we did the new stairs to match exactly. So you can see all the handrails and everything match exactly. And the same style the way it comes up and turns back on itself. Got a Velux window at the top of the stairwell here just to cast loads of light down here. Now this is an awful waste of space up here, so I um, put a storage area through the rest of it there. So when we come to this, it's a huge attic, so we get a room to the front and a room to the back. The room to the back has this uh, duo window, and I'll come back to that in a second. Just want to show you the front because we were waiting on planning permission to um, to put in these windows at the front, and uh, so it's matching the window across the road there, for example. But there's none in the gable, and it's in the front. Sorry, so like I was saying, uh, we have to get planning permission to put windows at the front. And we finished off this bathroom as well. The painters have the door off. So, really cool tiles. A black shower door. Shelves in the wall. Dual head shower. Big black shower tray. Sorry if I'm walking in there. <laughs> Good clean, clean, warm finish. And, uh, oh, we put a window on the side as well. I'll show you the back room there now real quick. So, back room, these are both decent sized double bedrooms. This is gonna be the kids' room, so they're doing some really cool stuff with the paintwork. Um, all thermostatic controlled radiators everywhere. And a styro door fitted up there. That's it.